this is number five. Video diary from the Vigo, Vegan Education on the Go, and uh, VIP, Vegan Information Project. In Dublin for five hours, and a bit more of uh, straight vegan education, direct to the public. Got everything in Neville here. Glad to say that uh, he's all insured now, thanks to uh, generous donations from VegFest. So thanks again for that. And um, I want to talk to you about the tea station. Not seen the tea station anywhere else. Um, we're not, we don't have the tea station open to the public at the moment. It's a bit too cold still. In the summer months, we've got a table out with um, pump pots full of. Um, boiling water, it's the, you know, the big flasks, and um, we have tea, and people can sit there, and they'll often read the literature they get from the gazebo, but mainly they'll just sit there with a VIP volunteer and talk about veganism. It's a really good way of um, explaining what the thing is, you know, a lot of people have got a lot of questions about veganism nowadays. And um, just taking leaflets doesn't necessarily do it in the sense that, um, you know, if you give leaflets out, we let people take them so they kind of want them. If you give leaflets out, you, you know the score, you often find them in the bins around about. So a lot of them are wasted in that sense, whereas they're actually consumed fully at the tea station. I would recommend you doing one of those. So, okay, traffic is heavy, but. Um, We'll be setting up soon and we'll do some more filming then. So, catch you in a while. Did you get that in, um, in Super apparently? Yeah, the new one, there's an Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Um, hello, my name is Sebastian. Um, I came to Dublin for a few days to travel a lot and when I'm about to leave, I just see uh, this vegan promotion uh, right in Dublin city centre, very coincidentally and very unexpectedly. And I studied in England, Loughborough University, doing air transport management and I tried to set up a vegetarian society back in my university and I speak to this legend called Rogers and he just gave me some advice about how to uh, let people know more about what actually veganism is and how to let people know more about it in depth to uh, toward the animals, toward, toward our health and the environment, what kind of benefit, benefits it contributes to the whole system. So I think, um, ah, I don't know what to say, I, I just very uh, impressed by this promotion because he told me he, he, he is doing every single weekend so I hope you guys keep it up and to make more effort to make people realize what happened behind the scene of the slaughterhouses and I hope less animals being killed by us just for me yeah keep the keep the good work up we will thank you very much Another day. This is the end of the uh, fifth uh, video diary, 2016. So uh, it's a little bit quieter today, in the sense that it's very cold. So I think uh, people were more reluctant to uh, stop. Not that uh, people didn't, and uh, 
a lot of uh, vegetarians came up today and people are already vegan, which is um, always quite interesting the fact that they just seem to come out of nowhere and they've been vegan for two months or two years, five years. It's really quite, quite interesting in that sense. So, uh, and you saw the, uh, the Vigo Bell in action. So, uh, that usually rings anything between five and 10, 11 times a day. So, this is when uh, people who are vegan, who are, who are new to us, appear. So, you know, veganism is definitely, since we're on the increase, even in a place like Ireland, which is it's relatively harder to be vegan in a dietary sense here than uh, elsewhere, certainly uh, in Britain, for example. Right, so, fifth one, signing off. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, catch you another time. Bye for now.